Welcome back to Battleship Systems. Battleships don't have check engine lights to let you know when something's wrong with one of their systems, but they do have lights to let you know when something's wrong electrically. All of the critical communication lines on a battleship are consolidated into these switchboards, like the action cutout switchboard, or the secondary and main battery switchboard. These switchboards contain switches and fuses for circuits like the rudder angle, engine orders, and the main and secondary battery fire control systems. These are circuits that are critical to the ship's operation and so they're constantly being manned to make sure that none of the fuses blow. A blown fuse could mean that there's a short in the line, bad wiring, or bad equipment somewhere in the circuit. But switchboards have hundreds of these little fuses. So how do you tell when one of these little things blow? Now if you remember back to the episode we did on fuses, some of the fuses have a little pin that comes out to let you know when they're blown. That's not very apparent. Take a look at this switchboard. See these things mounted in front of the fuses? These are what are known as blown fuse indicators. The idea is that when you have an indicator shunted across the fuse, it will not light up when the fuse is good because the current will be flowing through the fuse instead of the high resistance path of the fuse indicator. However, when the fuse blows, some of the current will flow through the indicator, which contains a neon bulb and a resistor. When this happens, it causes the neon bulb to light up. So how does that work? Well, it only works when the circuit is on. When the fuse isn't blown, it provides a nearly no resistance path for the electric to flow through the actual circuit. The small amount of current that flows through the indicator isn't enough to light the neon bulb. However, when the fuse blows, that path is no longer there, and the current's only choice is to go through the high resistance path of the indicator. This provides enough current to ignite the neon gas and light the bulb. And again, this is assuming the circuit hasn't been destroyed. Even if you have an induction motor on the other end, technically all the wires of an induction motor are connected together so you'll still get enough to light the indicator. Now you might be wondering if it's safe to have a path for the current to flow around a fuse that is already blown. But you gotta realize that the amount of volts that actually flows through the indicator is in the millivolt range. It's not enough to light up a lamp, a circuit, not enough to turn on a motor. Another thing you gotta realize is that a neon bulb changes the waveform of the current going through it. The neon bulb only ignites when the current is at its peaks, whether that be peaking positive or negative. Let me show you what I mean. So here's what the AC waveform looks like before it goes into the indicator. See, it's a nice smooth waveform. Now I'll try to show you what the neon bulb does to it. Now you see those peaks? Those peaks are happening when the voltage is as extreme positive and extreme negative, and it's striking an arc to ignite the neon gas. Otherwise, there's not much current going through. But the important thing to realize is that at such a small voltage, it would never be enough to run a synchro or cause any damage for that matter. By the way, do you have any decorative neon lights in your house? Does it still work? Let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, so let's blow a fuse and let's see if we can get this indicator to light up and let us know that we have actually blown the fuse. Now this indicator is rated for 440 volts, but I bet you we can still get it to light up a little bit with 120. All right, so I got five amp fuses in here and I've got the hair dryer and the vacuum cleaner hooked up to it. That should be more than five amps. Let's give it a try.
Yep. So you can see that fuse is blown. Our indicator has told us that a five amp fuse is blown and needs to be replaced. This is a modern version of a blown fuse indicator. So the light itself unscrews and the fuse is actually held inside. And the LED light and resistor on the front lets you know that the fuse is blown. You'll find these on the Iowas. In lieu of donations to me, please consider donating to a battleship museum like the Battleship New Jersey. There's a link in the description that'll bring you to the Homeport Alliance for the USS New Jersey website where you can donate to the nonprofit organization. Thanks for watching.